Okay, so today we're going to make a gate. I've got this place on the side of my house that has needed a gate for a long time, but then we got a puppy. And he's not the same way. He likes to go. He'll take off and man, he's fast. So once he's gone, he's gone. And so we got to have the gate and we got to have it done right away because I just don't have a whole lot of time. So I got to get it done in one day. I've got some awesome ideas of what I really want the gate to look like. Really cool, with like an arch top and, and just really nice. I don't want just your average everyday gate. I want a cool gate. And I'm making this thing outside with simple tools. So I'm going to make it with pretty inexpensive materials. I'm going to make it look cool, but not have this, you know, ultimate fancy joinery so that it's, you know, not requiring, you know, all kind of crazy finish work. It's gonna, it's gonna look awesome. It's gonna be, it's gonna stand up to the weather. I'm gonna do it in one day, and it's gonna do the job of keeping that puppy in the yard. So, you know, watch the video, see what we do, and you'll see how it's done. All it takes is a pencil and some graph paper to make a quick sketch of your gate. The, uh, and doing a little drawing like this, uh, while it may not look pretty, it really helps you to go ahead and come up with a material list and, and think out how you're gonna build the gate. So I did a drawing and uh, kind of figured out my dimensions and made a material list with it. I'm going to use this uh, one by eight for my arch top. You see my gate's going to have a frame all the way around the outside and I want the top to be arched. Now, I'd really rather have something wider than this, but you know, I want to use something inexpensive that'll stand up to the weather. Regular pressure treated lumber stands up to the weather great and it's not expensive. I'm going to use one by fours for the sides, uh, you know, for this is, this is for the frame we're still getting wood for. And um, I'm going to uh, use one by fours on both sides and across the bottom. And then I'll cut that one by eight into a, the same width arch. I'm going to use this uh, five quarter by six deck board uh, for my gate slats. And uh, the reason I'm using that is because it, first of all, it's thick, it's going to be really strong. Um, it is going to make my gate kind of heavy. Um, but it's also already curved on the edges. It's got a rounded edge already. It saved me a lot of work. And you remember, I'm doing this in a hurry. So I think this is going to make a great uh, you know, board for the main structure of the gate. Since this is going to be a heavy gate, we're going to need plenty of concrete to hold the post in the ground nice and strong. And we'll load it up and head on home. Normally I'd like to dig a hole a lot deeper here, uh, but I was hitting uh, some concrete, probably the footing for my house. Um, so in order to keep the gate where I wanted, I just uh, had to make the hole wider and I'll build the concrete up higher. All you've got to do is use concrete mix right out of the bag and you pour it in there and then put water on it and kind of keep uh, packing it down as you go uh, and plumb your post uh, as you do it so that when you're finished, the post will be plumb. When we first made the drawing, uh, I made a cut list, uh, at least of some of the boards, so I know what length to go ahead and cut them. So we're gonna go ahead and cut some of them down to size uh, to get ready to start doing the layout. Board where I want it, I put the first board where I want it, and it leaves a gap here that uh, I can measure and then figure out how big a space I need in each one. It's going to be around five eighths of an inch between each board. The, uh, so I can kind of work that as I go. What I'm going to do first is attach this side piece and this bottom piece to the first board. And I'm going to do. I'm going to use two things to do that. I'm going to use an adhesive, and I'm going to use these deckmate screws. The thing I like about the deckmates is they come with a really, really good little bit. Um, it's like a, a star bit, um, the, uh, and uh, they don't really have to be pre-drilled usually in pressure treated lumber. They just go right in and it's all good. And they have a coating on them that, that prevents corrosion with uh, pressure treated wood. So, first thing I'm going to do is put some glue on this. Right with the edge of this board. Okay, 
Okay. Got this little. Um, small 20 volt lithium ion uh, cordless drill for Black & Decker. It's real light and easy to use. So, got plenty of power for the job. At this point it's just a matter of repeating the process with lots of screws and with lots of glue and uh, making sure that the corners are extra strong because they carry a lot of the weight. Uh, and then going through and spacing each board, remember we, we figured out what the total space was and then divided that by the number of spaces that we'll have to figure out what the space will be between each board. Um, and so we we'll go ahead and then space out each board and put screws at the bottom. Uh, and then we'll come at the top and do the same thing to get the boards all parallel with one another uh, and spaced out evenly. Since the top arc is not cut yet, uh, we don't have it available to screw down to hold the gate slats in place. So we went ahead and put the center uh, horizontal board, which is a rail, uh, in the gate so that we could screw that down. Uh, to keep those boards uh, parallel. So then when we cut the arc and put that in place, it'll all line up uh, and look just right. Okay, so we've got our whole gate laid out. We've got all the, the centerpiece and the frame boards all on it. Now we're going to make an arch in this top board. We find the center point. We know this is 37 inches wide, so the center is 18 and a half. So we want to make this arch as big as we can. Um, with that board. So we know that we want the, uh oh, and make it long enough. So I'm just going to extend that line down a little bit. We want the top to be the same width, we want the whole arch to be the same width as these 1x4. So this is where the bottom of the arch at the highest point will be. The bottom of the arch at the lowest point, we'll take every bit of the wood we have here, so it'll be right here and right here. So all we need to do is find the arc that hits that sort that point, that point, and that point. So the way you do that is you draw a line between these two and here, between this point. like this, and you find the halfway point on those lines. So from that point to there is 15, just under 15 and a half. So it's gonna be seven and a half, seven and three quarters all over. So seven and three quarters right there. Same thing the other way. Seven and three quarters right there. Starting with that halfway point we just identified, you run a perpendicular line as uh, long as it takes till you reach the center of the gate, uh, the center widthwise of the gate, which is 18 and a half inches on this gate. That's the center point of the circle. To be certain, you could do the same thing from the line on the other side and they would intersect at the center. Right, right here, so you just hold it real tight, right on that spot. You have to really put down on it. Got it? Hold me. Oops. 
From here, talk to here. Once we marked the uh, the lines on that uh, board one by eight, we were able to just put it on the sawhorses and and cuddle on those lines with the jigsaw, and end up with a uh, arched piece of wood for the top of the gate that's the same width as a one by four. They can lay that down then on the gate and cut out the uh, where the sl cut the slats out along that line, mark a line and cut the slats out along the line, and then you'll see the board just fits perfectly and it's beautiful. Then it's just time to. Uh, glue that down and uh, fasten it with screws and then we'll be ready to install the gate. Okay, at this point we've installed the hinges to the post, um, which we actually covered with another board uh, to make it a little bit wider to keep there from being a big gap in front of, between the uh, post and the house. So uh, once the uh, hinges are all installed on the post, then I've set the gate up and leveled it up and uh, we'll put a screw in the bottom setting kind of the, the gap between the post and the gate. Uh, and then, from that point, I can just work my way up the gate, keeping that gap the same between the post and the gate in order to keep the gate from getting hinge bound and uh, not swing properly. Here I've just used a little pair of pliers to uh, you know, hold the gate, which was kind of trying to pull back over, and I've used the pliers to hold it uh, to keep the space even along the side of the gate. all hung and it swings good so everything's done with the gate. I've got to put a latch on it but I might have bought the wrong kind of latch uh, for the situation here up against my soon to be replaced and somewhat crooked shed. So um, we're gonna uh, close it and that's a wrap. <laughs>